So many of you may be thinking, uh, this is billed as a demonstration and it's starting off with a PowerPoint slide. We promise that the slides are very, very few and we'll get through them fast and we'll get into the demo uh, very quickly. Now, this demo focuses on geospatial risk management for IBM Cognos BI insurance applications. But that's not the only thing that Vantage Maps can do. All the areas you see on this slide are readily achievable by combining Esri Maps with IBM Cognos BI data. Claims management, for example, uh, brings spatial analysis of key measures like claims submitted by region, claims process, time to process, cost, disbursements, all of this by region or location in the context of reports about policies, customers, agents, and other key business intelligence. Uh, sales and marketing can elevate to a whole new level by targeting campaigns and sales at the right demographics in the right locations. And customer service uh, will give clear understanding of where customers are, which ones are the highest value. And you can spatially analyze customer inquiries, complaints, service calls, and extend the right benefits to the right customer at the right time. But today we're going to focus on risk management, specifically the risks inherent in the insurance industry pertaining to the physical world. Events like floods or wildfires or extreme weather such as tornadoes and hurricanes and of course the risk of widespread earthquake damage. Now let's have a look at a simple dashboard that combines data about insurance policyholders and revenue for a fictitious insurance company. On the dashboard here we see a map but we also see Cognos BI in the form of trends for major insurance lines like automobile insurance versus life insurance or property insurance and so on. The dashboard also provides a breakdown of channel sales via discount and specialty brokers for example. And here in the upper right there's a revenue trend line and a bullet chart showing actual revenue versus plan. And to the right is a list of actual versus plan sorted by value of the, uh, of the sales achievement in descending order. Now the map here clearly shows an outlier for South Dakota and we can see a poor performance of 66% of actual versus plan when we hover. But at this point the map isn't telling me much else. To see more, uh, we'll access the toolbar here and open the map legend. And then we'll set the display for actual versus plan to quantile, at which point we can see the poor versus good performance more clearly with Arizona, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and others clearly underperforming. Now these maps are multi-measure in nature, so I can see other key measures like account of uh, broker and agency policy holders by state. As expected, the more populous states like California, New York, Texas, and Florida are more heavily vested with policyholders. We can likewise change the measure to view a calculation of average policy value by state where we see where we're getting the most revenue per policy. Now as with actual versus plan, things look inconsistent with only moder moderate uh, policy value in the southern states where actual versus plan was poor. In fact, if we return to that actual versus plan measure, we can quickly zero in on the states that are underperforming just by turning off the higher achieving regions. Now, clearly, the southeast is where most of the problems seem to lie. And we can quickly and easily zoom in to see that region in more detail. To update the report content based on our underperforming states, we can use this rich toolbar. First we set the default buffer distance to a fairly low number so that we can select states precisely. And note the large number of tools available here inclu including rectangular and radial selections, lines and polylines and polygons, all of which we can use to choose whatever data we want to display in this report. We'll select the freehand polyline tool and then simply draw a line through the states we wish to analyze. Every state that's touched becomes part of the spatial analysis and the report content is updated accordingly. And immediately we see that for these states the values for, uh, for term and whole life insurance are suspect. Perhaps we need to increase our efforts to market and sell those products in those states. Now clicking any state name in this list will automatically focus the map instantly on that state. So there's bi-directional communication going on here. Map to the report and the report back to the map. And of course, as with any Esri map, we can pan and zoom wherever we want. Now suppose we want more information. For example, we wish to see the details for the brokers and agencies we deal with in Arizona. If we click on any state, we drill through to a report that contains details for that state. And here we see four agents that we deal through 
in Arizona. And notice how the map has automatically zoomed to display the region bounded by those agencies. If we zoom out a little, and then we lower the transparency for the state layer, we see other layers of data are uh, available for display here. And while we're here, we'll quickly adjust the push pins to show average policyholder value. And here we see agencies clearly within the boundaries of some shape layer in the map. In this case, the layer contains weather and environmental warnings from the U.S. Geological Survey. And we can query the information in that layer via the toolbar. From the available layers, we select Watches and Warnings, and then simply click the shape on the map. And immediately we see there's a red flag warning, meaning that conditions are ideal for wildfire ignition and propagation in this region. So we can easily use the toolbar again to isolate the two agencies within the red flag zone and very quickly we gain an understanding of the number of policyholders potentially affected. In this case nearly 14,000 policies. We've already seen a drill through from the country to the state level. If we had the data for each agency's specific policyholders, we could easily drill through again to see the specifics of coverage by policy and by address of customer. Now note on the map there are some wildfires indicated close to the other agencies. We can quickly see exactly how far those agencies and hence their potential customers are from active events using the measuring tool. We quickly learn that these agencies are between 20 and 40 miles from the fire zones which gives us a degree of knowledge about whether we should take any actions like notifying agencies and potentially notifying customers with some kind of an alert. And right from here, we can rerun this report for any other state. For example, for California, where we keep a close watch on risk from earthquakes and potentially large claims that can come from those. Note how every time the report's executed, it focuses on the exact location where there's data. This time, we'll actually hide the state layer completely so we can see the active earthquake events and then zoom in on an active area where we obviously have many customers. As we did for the red flag warnings, we can see the data for the earthquakes just by enabling map info queries and then clicking on any object displayed. Now several of the agencies we deal with are clearly close to this earthquake zone. And we can use the radio select tool to update the report for every client less than say 60 miles away from the epicenter of that event. And immediately we gain a clear handle on our potential exposure in terms of active policies and hence potential claims. So very quickly, with minimal effort, a manager or analyst can gain knowledge about exposure to risk based on warnings issued by the U.S. Geological Survey or by other uh, map services if they're available. And while admittedly this demonstration has purposely been kept relatively simple, the connecting of spatial data to IBM Cognos data can extend far, far beyond what we've seen here. This is just scratching the tip of the iceberg. Thanks for taking the time to watch our demonstration of spot-on Vantage maps for insurance risk. If you liked what you saw and you want to get started with geospatial analysis on your IBM Cognos BI insurance data, go to spotonsystems.com insurance. Tell us a little bit about yourselves and we will get back to you.